Hey, what's up guys? Mike here. Uh, it's been about a week since my last video. I've uh, just been busy uh, working on some job interviews for, uh, for an internship, for multiple internships that I'm looking at. So hopefully I'll be able to share uh, some of that stuff with you later. But, I mean, you know, most of you guys don't care and you just want to see uh, the tutorial. So <laughs> I'm going to get to it. Uh, this one is about the uh, core location and uh, location manager. So basically anytime you need a location um, for a user on your iPhone, you're going to use uh, this, this method. And uh, we're going to implement it in four steps. And I've written the steps right here. Uh, we want to import core location, add the delegate for the location manager, and create a constant for the location manager. Those were all really simple, so I'll put it in one step. Um, and they're all in the, you know, in the top of the uh, class declaration right around there. Um, and then we're going to add location request description to the info.plist. Now that's a little, uh, a little checklist on the side. If you're not familiar with that, we have to go in there and, and add the uh, request. Uh, Apple requires that you give people a description for why you want to use their location because, you know, privacy reasons. Uh, the next step is to set up the location manager in the view did load. So in there you're doing things like setting the delegate to self and uh, setting the accuracy that you want the location to look. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, going to add uh, the did update locations and did fail with error functions in our last step. So uh, those functions are automatically activated when you uh, look for the location. And now let's get started. Okay, so now we're going to go into Xcode. We're going to create a new project. And here it is. Let's drag this out so you guys can see it. Single view app. And we're going to call it core location. And I spelled it that way. Uh, you'll see, because I can't, you can't import a module that's the same name as a project. So um, that's how we're spelling location. Uh, <laughs> get to save it in desktop. And now let's get started with step one here in the, uh, in the view controller. By the way, uh, if you guys can see this, let me know if you can't, especially let me know because, uh, I did raise the uh, text size a little bit, um, per a video, uh, or review for the last video. So, uh, yeah, let me know guys. And I'm going to import core location right there. Next, we're going to CL location manager delegate. We're going to put that in the class declaration. Down here, we're going to create a let constant called location manager. And it's going to be an instance of CL location manager parentheses. And there we go. That's the first step. Um, in here in the, uh, not the storyboard, in here in the info.plist, the next thing we have to do is we have to add a uh, description to what we want to do with the user's location data. Uh, like I said, for security reasons, and it's down here in privacy. You scroll down, um, privacy, location, and uh, whichever one you want to use. So it depends on the needs of your app. Do you need to have their location constantly? Is it something like a navigation app? Uh, or do you just need to use it like one time when they, you know, something like when they open the app or while the app is open? Uh, and I think, you know, most apps, it's it's safe to just say when uh, when in use. And which one, whichever one that you ask for is the same, you have to have the same uh, description here in the plist. So I'm going to, let's say, when in use for this one. And I'll show you the different types that we can add in a minute. Um, but yeah, for this, we're going to say uh, we need your location to yada, yada, yada. Uh, you actually do have to put something worthwhile in there and like what you actually are using it for or uh, the app store will be like, hey, uh, what's up, dude? What, why do you want their locations? It's not you know, a Huawei deal or something like that. Um, so next part, after we've done that, uh, we want to uh, set up the location manager in the view did load. 
And we're going to create a function called setup location manager. And it's going to be like, what the hell is that? But actually, we're going to go func setup location manager. Um, location manager dot delegate. No, not this. We'll actually get there. We'll do desired accuracy in a second. Uh, self location manager dot desired accuracy equals KCL location accuracy. So here you can see uh, all the different levels of accuracy that you can get just from uh, the core location itself. Um, and you'll see if you if you go here you can see the little description down here what you know what it's used for sometimes what it's best for like the navigation uh, how it uses sensor data for the navigation apps it's really helpful um, you, you know there's one to the kilometer uh, I like to do the hundred meters I think it's a nice balance uh, because if you say something like best it's going to take a lot of data to continuously find this location and to like pinpoint it when you don't necessarily need it like like uh, you know I built a weather app and something like a weather app you don't need to know the exact location you say you know if you get it within 100 meters then the weather is going to be pretty accurate um, but you know best is for you know if you have like a food delivery app or something like that maybe you do need their exact location um, so yeah we're gonna do accuracy 100 meters and then we're going to location manager and we're going to say request. And here you can see the different kinds of authorizations. This is, you have to ask for authorization before you can request location. We're going to do that in a minute. Um, but the options are always and when in use. And for this one, like I explained earlier, you know, you can say uh, whenever the app's running or when the app is open in your hand. So or in the user's hand. And this works for most cases. We're just going to say when in use. Uh, and then the next thing is to start updating location. And I'm going to put this in the view to load uh, function here just, just for this because demonstration purposes. But you can put this anywhere. I, I'd suggest you use leave this stuff here. Um, and if you're going to request a when in use authorization, and it's really important to your app, uh, maybe give them a pop-up before you request the in-use authorization. Make them, you know, get into the app a little bit and already feel kind of comfortable instead of immediately opening the app and then asking for location. Because uh, a lot of users are turned off by that. Like, why, as soon as I open the app, like, this guy needs my location? Like, it's, uh, you know it's not even necessary for most of the app and if it's not then it makes you look bad and maybe they don't give you the location when they would have once they get comfortable with your app um, so we're going to start updating the location in the view did load in this case uh, and then now we're going to add uh, the next step which is the two functions that go with the uh, location manager and did update locations is one of them and we're going to take our look we're going to create a let location equal because okay so see here this is an array of locations uh, because you know some apps are continuously updating the location like if we close out of the app and bring up call to view did load again it's going to give us a new location so as you can see in the documentation here, uh, the objects in the array are organized in the order in which they occurred. So the most recent location update is at the end of the array. And that's important if we want the uh, most recent location, we're going to have to create a location instance and it's going to be in the locations array that this is the same thing here that's what I'm referring to and we want to take that and we want to say last because it's the last item in the array and because this is uh, this is an optional we want to wrap it up so we don't have problems with that later and now we're ready to roll 
And so in here we're gonna we're gonna create another if function, and it's gonna be if location dot horizontal accuracy, and uh, this is the radius of uncertainty for the location, as you can see here. Um, in a little bit easier way to explain it would be if the documentation would pop up. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say greater than zero, and then hopefully it'll be up so I can explain. It. Okay. Locations, latitude, and longitude identify the center of the circle, and this is the radius of the circle. So it's like, uh, you know, when it's trying to zero in on your location when you use an app, and there's that big circle, and then it keeps, like, finding it. It's a little closer here, and now it's a little closer there. Um, that's it. So uh, if, if that circle is negative, then it's invalid. And so when it, once it's greater than zero, we don't need any, like... Uh, you know, really specific data as we put up here. So as long as it's greater than zero, that's all we really need. And we're just going to go ahead and tell the location manager to stop updating location. Because, you know, if you guys use like navigation apps and stuff, you'll know that it drains your battery like crazy. And, uh, you know, users don't really like that when your app drains their battery like crazy. So, we're going to tell it to stop updating once it has the data we need. And we're going to let longitude and latitude. We're going to create instances for these. And they're going to be location dot coordinate dot latitude. And guess what this one's going to look like? Location dot coordinate dot longitude. And just for testing purposes, we're going to print and we're going to say longitude equals longitude and latitude equals latitude. And that's it for this, this location or this, uh, this function about locations. Uh, so you can see it's, it's really not that tough. Um, the, the last part is uh, we want to have a fail safe. You know, if something goes wrong, we want to know what's up. So we're going to create the uh, did fail with error function. And if these aren't showing up in your search, uh, you might not have the location manager delegate up here. So check up there. And if it's still not showing up, go to product and build. So this one's going to fail because I have a placeholder here. But um, yeah, go build it just to make sure that the delegate is, you know, it realizes that this is indeed a uh, delegate of the core location. So um, did fail with error is pretty self-explanatory. We're just going to print. It automatically knows uh, if it failed with an error. So we're just going to say location update failed. And we're going to put the error that I got from right here in there. Um, so yeah, that, that all looks good. Uh, let's, let's build and run. Do, 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 do. Core location. Every time I see that spelling, I'm like, oh, great, yeah. So here's the pop-up and allow core location to access your location. We need your location to yada, yada, yada. Oh, that sounds like a great use of my data. There you go. And as you can see here, we have both the latitude and the longitude. So when the, when the latitude's negative, or yeah, longitude, when the longitude is negative, it is the uh, Western hemisphere. So it's 122 degrees west and 37, 38 degrees north. So uh, when it's positive, it's east, negative west. Uh, latitude, when it's negative, it's south. When it's positive, it is north. So you can, you can set that up in, you know, in your app if it's negative. And it'll, you know, if you want to read out the coordinates, you can do it that way. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, hope you guys liked it um, as much as I enjoy making these. So um, if you want to see some more, uh, hit subscribe and uh, yeah, till next time, take it easy.